Hello everybody, this is Fernie Bobbin here, and welcome back to Train Drive ATS. Yeah, so it is uh, scenario time once again. Well, I say that, uh, this is actually part two of a scenario. Uh, so if you don't know, yeah, this is scenario 14 part two, where today uh, we're going to be continuing on with the 5007, or, well, okay, this, okay, so this is the 1024 Express thing. But we're about to begin the five. Okay, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, no, this is the five one zero two four express service, uh, which is the fourteenth scenario. Now, in the uh, so this is a part two because in the first part, um, so this there is actually a, a round trip scenario which goes from one end of the line to a middle station and then back to the other, uh, back to the end. Um, so in part one, we went from Akusa Muramachi to Bushu Matsuyama. And today, well, we're gonna be doing the return journey. We're gonna be going back from Bitsu Matsuyama back to Akusa Muramachi. All this time, let's take a little bit longer this time because we have more stops. So uh, yeah, so here we are, part two of this scenario. We're ready to begin, so let's go do this. Before we get on the rails, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. And here we are, the train is already taking off, all right. So here we are then, at a, a pretty high point in the map. Oh, he's leaving. Yeah. Well, this is supposed to be like the middle of nowhere section, but yeah, we still have, uh... Yeah, here's the we're here. And we're going down there. All right, fast forwardism to the wind. Alrighty then, so yeah, we have a little bit of time to wait, uh, wait for our departure time, but yeah, here we are. Um, so right now we're at 315 points, uh, which is, yeah, that's the amount of points that we had when we started part one, so, yeah. Um, alright, about to get ready to go. Alrighty. So this is really the first time we've done like a part two of a, a, a part two, uh, no, this is the really the first time that I've done a scenario in two parts. Um, and the reason why I did this is because the scenario stuff is an hour and a half, which I think would be too long for a single video. So I decided to split this video up into two parts. And, uh, yeah. So this is part two. We have 315 points. Let's see how many more points we can gain in this scenario. Alrighty then. So next up is to Tosai de Butukom, which is like the, the uh, thingy station. Station where the lines bang each other. I don't know. Actually, that's station where some trains terminate, so actually, that station is, is, is important. And we're 55. Alrighty then. So, here we are back in the world of Train of ATS. Um. Yeah. So one thing I actually almost forgot to mention, but just randomly just recurred to me right now. So here we are then, um, for what is the final Train of ATS video, Train of ATS 1 video of the year. That is right. Um, so Train of ATS 1, uh, the series that has been, I guess, off and on on this channel, is going to be taking a little break once more. Um, so this video that you're watching right now, Scenario 14 Part 2, is the Final Train of ATS 1 video of 2023. That's right, there will be no more of these videos in the year. Um, and that is to make way uh, for the final four videos on Train of ATS 3. Um, so that series will be coming to its conclusion soon, but this series still has a few more videos left. So, this, so the conclusion of this series will be waiting, well, until next year. Um. So yeah, now if you're wondering when Train of ATS-1 will be returning, uh, that will be right at the beginning of February of 2024. So, yeah. So for the Train of ATS-1 fans out there, yes, you have to wait a little bit longer uh, for the next video. But don't worry, the wait will be worth it as we are almost there. In fact, after this scenario is complete, we have two left, and then we get to play Flame Mode and various other things here. Which I'm actually really looking forward to. But, uh, I must wait a little bit longer so we can 
do all the things in Trinity ATS 3. So yeah, Trinity ATS Scenario 14 Part 2 will be the last Trinity ATS 1 video for 2023. And the series will return in February 2024. And by that point, I will probably have forgotten most of the locations as I usually do, but, uh, oh well. Alrighty then, so here we are then, driving through the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I'm actually also looking forward to checking out the, uh, the, the Bushu Yatsuyama line or whatever it's called. Oh, the, bu the Bushu Fuji, Fuji Wah 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 Wah. Yeah. As that's the only part of this map that I still have yet to see. Plus some of the other background stuffs, but that will come soon. Ah. Ah. And down to 60. All right, two kilometers left to go to the next station. Come on. Well, otherwise, I don't have much to talk about, actually. <laughs> oh, but that might not be a good thing, because we were only really just had the scenario, and yet we're pretty much over a lot of things to talk about, really. So yeah, part two, because one single video would be too long, and this is the last Trinity BTS1 video for 2023. Now this isn't gonna be the last video ever though. Um Yeah, I guess one of one of our viewers goes by the name of Nikki, who has been commenting quite a bit on these videos. Um I guess it's a bit of a misconception of like this like the the final one. Um, no, there, this isn't the last turn of ATS video, there's still a few videos left. Now, we are getting close to the end of these, uh, turn of ATS videos, but we're not there yet. We still have, in fact, uh, as far as what videos are to come next for turn of ATS, we have, well, after this we have two more scenarios, and then, well, I take, well, two more scenarios, actually, technically it's four more scenarios. Because we also have the uh, we also have the bullet train scenarios to play, and um, and we also have flight mode along with the uh, Bushi Fajiwara line and flight mode. So actually, there's still quite a bit left to go with this game. So if you think that the series is coming to its so coming into if you think that this series is coming to its conclusion soon, well, I mean it is coming soon, but we're still not there yet. Anyway, here are our first up of the day. Let's really get a good one. Why well, I say first up of the day? First up for this video, but not first up in this scenario. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's a bad one. What happened there? Wow. Okay, first up of the day, it's an absolute disaster. Oh, what happened there? I just kind of just... Hmm. I guess it's got overcoming on the brakes. This is a good, good stop accuracy. Hopefully that'll save me some points. 45, yeah. Oh dear, first off the day and it's an absolute disastrous one. I don't know what happened there. I just... I guess I just didn't get on the brakes hard enough. I thought I could slow down in time, but I guess not. Well, next time I notice some of the brakes harder. Um... Yeah. All right, next stop. Uh. Also, this is a proper express service that we're doing, I just realized. Wait. Were we driving a rapid express in part one of the scenario? Uh? Wait, and here we're stopping at more stations. Wait a minute. 
Wait, I think, weren't we driving a semi-express service in the last, or was it a rapid one? I don't remember. But what I do remember is... I don't, actually, I don't remember. But we have more stops than the, uh, than the first part. Wait, does, like, the Rapid Express stop at less, even less stations than the Express one? What? No. That can't be right. Maybe it is, I don't know. Oh, right, well, here we go, though. Yeah, we, we skipped the station last time, but now we're, this time... We're stopping here. Well, this is good. That'll give me an opportunity to get some points back on the board because I really messed up that first stop. Okay, top your top tip: use the brakes. There we go. I just don't want to just fall too too much though. Okay. Slow but fast. There we go. A much better stop than last time. That's going to be 79 points. All right. Much better score than last time. Look at that. 427 points. Hey, Shelby 427. All right. American car fans will know what I'm talking about there. <laughs> but yeah, Shelby 427, amount of points. Nice. Now oh, that's the cover train. Yeah, you used it on the thumbnail last time. I forget which train is coming up next, so I'm going to have to make sure they get a good shot of like, blue and red trains today. Yeah. I believe our departure is... There we go. Alrighty, Himi Mayashi. Now that's a name I know. Speed on. There we go. Hmm, corner coming up. Yep. Oh, I made 210. Yeah, you see that line over there? The one that we. Well, I mean, I've seen that one several times, but yeah, you know that line? Yeah, we're gonna get a better look at that once the fun episode happens. Is that a 2D image of a, a thing I just saw there? The sky. Actually, well, technically everything's a 2D image here in this game. Yeah, there's one thing that I don't mention very often here in Trinity ATS yes, because it's just something that I've just kind of just gotten used to. But basically, every single object in this game. Like as far as like the uh, the buildings and everything, it's all basically two dimensional stuff. But like, made everything's made out of cardboard, pretty much. Are uh, we gonna overshoot again? No, we're not. Look at that. And another good stop. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we started with a really poor stop, and now we got two good ones in a row. All right. 64 points? Oh, come on. I got a good... Okay, maybe a bit rough, but come on. I'm the greatest train driver in the world. 
Really, I should be getting a thousand points for each of these stops. Yeah. But this game has really, really high stance for some reason. But, <laughs> oh, hang on. Train! Yeah. We have quite a bit of a few long subs. And hang on, we're only a six car train, by the way. Hmm. Wait, why are we stopped here for, for like three minutes? It's quite long. I mean, yeah, we only have six coaches. We're pretty short constants. Let's really take that long for everyone to border, or that just our scheduled departure time. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, my bad. Oh, well. Anyway, the rest of our here. You know what? I just realized, well, I actually just realized the station is like right underneath like a big tarp or something. I wonder what's above it. Yeah. Probably nothing, you know, but the sky button. Yeah. Still be cool to check it out. Soon. Ooh, nine kilometers to the next station. All right, shouldn't hand you. Oh, you know what that means. We're gonna be going fast again. Yeah. Speed. All right, we're gonna go on the super fast section again, non-stop. All right. It's the best section. Speed and power. You know what? This section of the line here in Trin of ATS is like the closest thing that we have to a high speed line here in any Trin of ATS game. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Speed. Yeah. Speed and power. This we get to skip all these stations. I'm asking to get the speed limit. You know what? I'm gonna sacrifice a few points here. I wanna go above. Ah. Yeah. Well, there it is. The fastest that I'll probably ever go in Trinity ATS. At least until Trinity ATS 4. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. But right now, 120 kilometers per hour is the fastest they can go in any Trinity ATS game. Or is it? Can you, did they raise speed even more for the bullet train, I wonder? Wow, it just... I came to me that long to occur to me, but I wonder. Do they raise the speed limit for the bullet train? For the special express... You know what I mean. The speedy train? I wonder if they do. Maybe this isn't the fast they can go in any train of ATS. I mean, well, this is... Okay, well, technically, this train of ATS 1, this is still the fast they can go in any other train of ATS games. Right? 120. But, can you go faster? Hmm. Interesting. That might be a science video I'm gonna have to do at some point. Or, okay, maybe not a science video, but. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe a little test. What is the fastest they can go in, in, in like, any train of ATS? Well, I say, well, more specifically, what's the fastest they can go here in train of ATS 1? Because this is already the fast one, like 120 kilometers per hour. That is the highest speed limit in any of the version of ATS games. Oh, I just did it again. All right, all right, we did it once. We don't need to, we don't need to keep doing it. It's good that this isn't trying to be ATS three, or else I'd be coming to grinding all, then all of my points will be down the drain. Yeah, this train of ATS one, where the uh, where the emergency brake penalty is a lot more lenient. Yeah, this game just slows it down a little bit and then lets it continue on. We're trying to be ATS three. Oh, full emergency break in that all your points at the rating. Which I've had to which I've had happen to be way too many times. Part of me, you know, wants Trinity ATS4 to basically go back to this system of Trinity ATS1, but 
I have an aching feeling they're probably gonna keep that system. Which, I mean, I guess is the most realistic system, maybe? But, eh, I don't know. Actually, is it the most realistic, or... I don't know. But I can't let's say it's the most annoying... Well, station. And we're just speeding down the line here this time. Oh, there's trees. Huh, I've never actually noticed this road here. I mean, I've been by here multiple times now. I mean, we came by here just the last video. I don't know. I guess sometimes I just become oblivious to these things. Yeah, it looks like that's our fun over. Shin Hanyu. The other thing is I don't want to go like, I don't want to drive this buff like too slowly. I think that also does use some points. And also timetablisms. Well, we are pretty far ahead of schedule. About 30 seconds early. Okay. I'm a little bit far that time, but decent. 56 points. Yeah, okay. You know, it's kind of hard to manage a parking impact, though. Like, I, I always try to, like, do as smooth of a stop as I can, but I can't. Well, I mean, I could, but I'm... You know, you know what the issue is. And we're at 500 points. Hmm. I think I said in part one that I wouldn't be possible to get 1,000 points in this scenario, but maybe I could do that. Hmm. I mean, we're at 545 points, and we still have plenty of stops left. Maybe we can? I mean, I'll try. We'll see. Anyway, Minami Takatoku. Or, I thought they call it Miami. Alright, we're gonna stop at all the stations. You know, we're still an express of sorts. Yeah, which means we're a fast train, and we only stop at big, important stations. Ugh. Yeah, 120, though. Something else that just occurred to me for seemingly no reason is that this... Um, yeah, fun, fun fact. This video that I'm recording today... It's actually the first video that I'm recording since updating my iPad to iOS 17. Yeah. Well, red train. But yeah, um, I just updated my iPad to iOS 17 today, and um, it's exactly the same. You know, I've just realized something. iOS is a light train sim world. They release a new version every year, or, 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 well, no, iOS is every single year, right? And yet, it's pretty much the same as the old version. Like, what changes did they actually make? Well, okay, to be fair, it trains some, well, at least they changed some things. Like, it's not exactly the, well, okay, it is largely the same game, but it's not identical, whatever. But anyway, um, but with iOS, it's the same thing. Like, actually, they, I don't even think they even give, like, a change log or anything in iOS 17. So I actually have to ask, why, why, does I, why does Apple release a new iOS system every year? And it's not even, like, a paid update either. Like, like here's the thing, right, with iOS. It's not like you even have to buy the new, uh, the new iOS system. Like, it's free to download and install. Like, I bought this iPad Air when it was on iOS 15. I then got iOS 16. In 2022, for which was a free update, and now I just got iOS 17, which is also a free update. But why though? Why, why, why do they why do they need to release a new iOS system every single year? It's the same. I mean, well, okay. I, I guess I, I did just say, oh well, it's a free update, so who cares if it's the same thing? 
But like, let's see, what's the point? I don't know. No, you know why it bothers me? It's because I get these notifications now and again of like, oh, we got a new version available. But I usually don't bother to get the new version because I don't really need it. But then my iPad like complains sometimes that, oh, well, I could, we couldn't get the new update installed because of fish. I don't know. It's not even like with Windows, where at least every time Windows releases a new operating system, you know, for one, they don't release one every single year. But for another one, they do release one, you know, there's actually some changes here. With iOS, they release a new one every single year, and there's basically minimal change. Why? Anyway, let's get more points on the board. There we go. That was a good stop. I don't know. Up to 11 points, by the way. Yeah. Ah, 66 points. That's a reference to Route 66. Another thing that American car fans will know about. What is this? The episode where we reference to American car fans? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, most of you guys will probably have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Um, unless, of course, you just happen to be like me and you're big into cars. Anyway, um, yeah, at least, but at least with Windows, you know, they don't release a new one, like, every single year, and even when they do release a new one, you're like, there's some changes here and there. But with iOS, it's every single year, and, yeah. Although, there is one thing that triggers me, and this is more of, like, a personal thing, by the way, not, nothing really to do with Apple. Um, I remember in 2017 when they released iOS 12, I think it was. Or uh, uh, was it iOS? I don't remember. I think it was iOS 12, but I don't remember. It, whatever the system it was that they released back in 2017. That was the iOS when they added in a built-in screen recorder. And the part that annoys me was that I couldn't celebrate it. Yeah, I remember back in 2017 when I had a brief stint when I was making iPad Air videos, right? Back in 2017. Uh, that was the other they added in a uh, uh, built in stream recorder. Although, they, I say that, it didn't really come out until October. I just bought my iPad there for a second. For some, for some of that. But yeah, new. Uh, yeah, the Apple finally added in a built in stream recorder after having to put up with. After years of having to put up with Air Show and that being a pile of rubbish. Um, but then when they did add said, I, uh, said built a screen recorder, I didn't have an iPad I could use it with. Yeah. It wasn't until five years later in 2022 that I finally got myself another new iPad Air. And by this time I finally got over my destructive attitude. And was able to use... Actually, no, you know what's funny? I, when I first start, when I first restarted making these videos in 2022, I didn't actually use Apple's built-in screen recorder. I'm, I actually used an well, oh well, technically I did. I used an app, which utilized Apple's built-in screen recorder. That was the recorded app. Yeah, I remember those days, which were more recent. Actually, you might actually remember those days because those were more recent times around the channel. And um, yeah, but then I, I, I funny enough though, I still wasn't actually happy with it because I wasn't really happy with the, uh, with like the low quality. I say low quality. It wasn't actually that bad, but I still wasn't really happy with it. So then earlier this year, in 2002, I got my Elgato capture card. And that's the process that I'm still using right now. And it's actually the process I'm ever going to continue to use forever and always. As, yeah. Yeah, the Elgato capture card actually simplifies the recording process. Now everything is all done through OBS. Rather than having to use Audacity and the uh, and record it, and it also makes my life easier when it comes to post production as well because the audio, of uh, the the audio with my commentary is already synced with the uh, gameplay of, of the gameplay.
I spent two hundred dollars, by the way, on the. Uh, actually, no, it was under eighty dollars because they were doing like a twenty percent discount or something. Um, but you know what? I'm happy. Also, is that a train? Oh no! Are you serious? Oh, is that a train in front of me? It's another one of those episodes. Yay! I love being stuck behind slow trains. Yay! Oh, and it's a local service. Why? Please tell me it's going to get pulled over at the... Uh, Whatever that next station is. Hang on, that's Musashi. Oh, wait, no, we still have 11 clumpers. Wait. No, that's one clump. Never mind, I, I can't read. <laughs> that's the next stop, actually. Huh. Interesting. But yay! We have a slow. Oh, I don't think we're going to be stuck on it for too long. In fact, we even. Build the speed a little bit here. At least right in front of us still. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're speeding up to 55. Ah! Uh. Wait, which, which platform are they going to put me on? It's going to be the, the leftmost platform. <coughs> Why? Alright, where we are then? Let's get some more points on the board. Also, I noticed earlier that I might get a thousand points here. Eh. Please, I don't know how many stops we have left. Like, is it a lot or is it. Not a lot. I don't actually know. Oh, come on. There we go. Really overshot the platform again there, but hey, we got a good stop in the last. Yeah. All right, four seconds early as well. How many points? Sixty-four. I know sixty-four isn't actually that good of a score, but well, it is by my standards, though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. Anything else happening in the world? Hmm. Actually, thirty minutes into this video, as of well, I think thirty minutes. So it might be a little bit less. But as when I'm recording this, we have recorded 30, 33 minutes so far, so yeah. Well, that means we still have 20 minutes to go. Or something, or 30, I don't know. Actually, I checked. This scenario is supposed to be. In... Wait a minute. Hang on a minute. I gotta check the schedule again. We came from Musa. Oh. There's only two left. Oh. Well, you know what? I don't want, I don't want these videos to be too long, anyways, so. Maybe so for the best, I split these up into two parts. Okay, so we have Mujam, Muj, how we say that station, then Kusumodamachi, and then that'll be it for this scenario. Oh, yeah, as for the thousand points, by the way, yeah, that's not happening. It is possible, like, like I said, it is possible to get a thousand points in this scenario, but only if you're good enough, which I'm not. Already then. Also, this video is 30 minutes, so. Hmm. I mean, this video is going to be 40 minutes long, so. Although, you know what that means, though. Com eh, actually, that video was about 36 minutes long, so yeah, it still would have been an hour or 10 minutes, so. Yeah. Maybe so for the best, I split this video up into two parts, so. Whatever. You know what? I don't care. It's too late now. Whatever. Actually, you know what? There's one bright spot about me making two parts. 
I get more ad revenue. Wait, does this station stop for us? Oh. Huh. For some reason, I thought we were skipping this station, but okay. Good thing for the reduced speed. Wow. Uh, stop. Yeah, we're gonna stop. Alright, here we are then. Ooh, so it's a little bit too soon there, but that's okay. How many points? 77. Aw, oh, man, I'm gonna get close, though. You know, if I didn't completely overcook that stop at the beginning and also got done better than some of the other stations, I think I might have actually been able to get a thousand points in this scenario. Yeah. Oh, well. At least we tried. <clears throat> Alright, come on, time. We're nearly there. The train is singing. Hmm. There's a reference to an old video. A lot of references being made in this video. Oh, no, I just realized something else. We have four kilometers to go to Sugimoto Machi. It's definitely going to take us. But yeah, it says we're gonna get there 901. It's definitely gonna take us that long to get there. You know what that means? Traffic! Yay! I love getting stuck in traffic! Yay! That's a little train. But yay! Traffic! My favorite! Yay! We're gonna be going slow! Wee! Oh, I was gonna get to overtake this guy. Hope. Uh, why are we uh, running at 55? I'm going on the fast line. What, what? Wait, what is this? Wait, why am I still slowing at 25? Should my line be clear? Oh no, they're gonna send that train up before me. They are. Ah, you silly sausages! I could have overtaken this guy. But new, I get to be stuck behind him. Yay! <sighs> it's also almost 9 a.m. This should be when the rush hour starts to slow down a little bit. You know, I think by by this point, you know, most people will be will have already started work or or at least getting to work. I'm okay. Rush hour was still kind of in full swing, but. This is also when it starts to sort of slow down a little bit. Because, you know, yeah, by this point, most people are at work, I imagine. Actually, almost 9 a.m., so I imagine most people are either, you know, just about to get to work or have already started work or something. I don't know. I don't care. I, it still annoys me. Alrighty then, well, we're getting close to the end of this scenario. You know what, I'm kind of glad though that I didn't play this entire scenario in one sitting though, because it's... It's long. Very long indeed. So you know what, even though this video may not have been that long, I'm still glad I split up into multiple parts because... You know, extra ad revenue and extra sanity as well. Alrighty, well, as we are in the last Gen of ATS video of the year, we have the most Gen of ATS thing ever happening in me getting stuck behind a, lo a local train. Yep, and now we're moving to a granny hall. Why didn't they let me overtake that train at the previous station? That's a local train. It's like it was like a, 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 a
the next station. Really, you could have held up the local train for another fee base. It was right in front of me. You could have held him up for that, like 20 more seconds. Come on. And I'm an express. I should have priority. Pops me at the emergency break there. All right, we're 1.7 kilometers away from the finishing line, but it's gonna take us a million years to get there because of Japanese train traffic. All right, it was feeling it was going high, but um, oh um, yeah, told you. They could have let me overtake this train. You know, that, that train in front of me, he might be running late or something. <sighs> yeah. Oh, the red train, that's the white one. Alrighty. Well, we are now 1.3 kilometers away from the finishing line. Now, thankfully, this is the last station. So, there should be no more stops for that train in front of us. Well, I guess now we'll see how much of a line is building to get into Akusa Motomachi. Like, how many trains am I going to be behind before I actually, you know, I'm allowed to enter the station? Speed of 70, but no sense going fast because we're going to be held up anyway. And the train departing. I remember that soon as on the left side or the right side of the track for some reason, despite the fact that they're directing the left track. Can I just say, that is stupid! There's a green train, so I can see them from here. That's cool, view. <laughs> Usually we're actually going too fast for a second to notice them, but yeah. But yeah, why in the world did they put the signals on the right side of the track, even though they're like directing the left, the left track? That is stupid. Oh, but it looks like it's my lucky day. Looks like I'm gonna be able to drive right into the station. Oh. Huh. Cool. Hey, green train! Yeah, green train sighting. Well, here we are. Then at the end of this scenario. So 750 points, actually we're going to say we're going to get more points once we do the stop here, but not a thousand points. Like I said, it is possible to get a thousand points in the scenario. I'm just a bad driver. So yeah, let's get some more points and then that'll be the end of this very long, very lengthy scenario. Final score is 837 points. You know what, though? Maybe I could have gotten a thousand points in the center if I'd driven a little bit better. But, oh well, maybe I'll say that in my own time. Do you hear that? The, g the game noise is still running. Oh, that is weird. Wow, I think that's our first game glitch. The, uh, the, the thing. Oh, anyway. Whatever. So, as there is a uh, there is game noise running in the background for reasons that I do not know, um, that is the end of this video, as I'm hearing noise now. Yeah, okay, let's get this video wrapped up. 
Um, yeah, I'm not going to show the next scenario in this video, by the way, because um, next Train of ATS 1 video will be two months from now uh, at the beginning of February of 2024. So, uh, that was all for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as this game continues to run noise in the background for some reason, I will see you in whatever I make next.